to look at your own personal background, um, uh, family and so on. I know uh, your father was quite innovative and um, uh, created the Moak uh, nut and uh, designed the curved ice axe. So, yeah, I remember it well. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to make that clear because we're talking to a mountaineering audience, uh, uh -huh. uh, of course. But <clears throat> he was from the steel industry and it was a very uh, um, disciplined man and taught students, he, he changed into teaching and he taught students for many years and he was known as uh, a very good uh, teacher but meticulous in his detail and requirements. Are you conscious that you've inherited uh, any of that from the background? Um, I certainly think I uh, grew up with, a, with in and around a very strong work ethic and um, this idea to change, I can remember well that, you know, we grew up in this house in the middle of nowhere in Wales and he had a forge at the back of the, the house and there'd forever be guys from Sheffield turning up for the weekend to go climbing at Clamberis Pass and they'd all come up with their ice axes which were straight at the time and he'd be forging them to be bent because obviously the angle of, of, of attack seemed to be improved if he bent them apparently that'd be bent it and then there'd be taking the two front forks of the, or two front prongs of the crampons and angling them, that was letting, that was the next big thing and then we had this uh, telegraph pole outside the house and you used to get these guys in the middle of summer running up and down with, with ice axes and crampons with this telegraph pole just to prove that the theories worked, you know. And I think that, that somehow that, that rubbed off. He had a massive work ethic and um, always talked about being professional, always talked about what it meant to be on time, work hard, you know, and I guess that stuck with me, to be honest.